Sasha, welcome to my space and today we're doing the safe file tour part three which is going to be the second last part of me touring this safe file the career world safe file i've already done two parts and you probably see it on screen but you should go ahead and watch it i will link the first two parts in the description or maybe like some icard or something for you so let's go ahead and go look at brightchester because i actually forgot to so let's go ahead and check the gibbs cafe right now so we're here at the Gibbs Cafe, and this is how it looks outside. This is really nice. It reminds me of the area from my college LP. I believe he lived here, actually, though. But yeah, so here's a location, though, which let's go ahead and see how it looks inside. Ooh, okay. Is there a second floor? Oh, okay. Okay, wow. So here is where you go for the cafe, and the chairs are, I don't know, it kind of gives a little bit of a Brightchester kind of build because like Foxberry is very new technological this is more like comfort warmth you know um vibe that I get from Brightchester whereas I feel like Foxberry gives me of a cool tone vibe you know what I'm saying so yeah it's a pretty nice build and it's really nice for in my mind like if you ever want to do like an extra Brightchester type of like you know location for your sims so yeah I'm, it's a cool law let's go ahead and check somewhere else out so we're here at the pub and right next to it was the cafe okay okay so let's go ahead and check inside so yeah again it's really giving a Brightchester vibe for this build and let's see and here sims could study i like that i like this area Ooh, some sims can play music oh keg stand like privately <laughs> and then let's see up here oh okay so this is an area where like sims can stay okay but yeah that's pretty much this lot let's go ahead and check the next lot here's the residential rental and you can see even like how it looks to the area just very good oh my god and i do like that it's, it's three different ones here so there's oh my god it's just so cool i definitely would love to add something like this to my save too oh so here's up here i'm assuming this would be shared space let me just turn that on i'm not entirely sure oh no it's not actually it's an, it's an apartment okay and here is okay and this is this only one sim that lives here or like a couple okay and then for here, I can't really see the decor, but maybe this is kind of meant for you to do it, I'm assuming. And then let's see the first one. Okay, and then here's that other one. And this is what you see from build mode. This is nice. Oh, this one's family friendly. You can see there's a toddler sim here. That's interesting. And there's an aquarium. Sorry again for putting the grid and stuff on, but I just wanted to see who's who, what's what, you know. And then here is the kids room and the parents or parents yeah that's pretty cute it's a pretty cute simple lot and it's designed for oh i like that it has this thing here oh that's really cute i like it and i like the realism oh there's a basement wait i didn't check there let's go find out <gasps> so there's a secret door for sims to go to their own unit so one unit and then i'm assuming this is the second unit there has to be a third one a third one this is such a creative build y'all and so then this is how those areas look like oh my god no i wish brightchester would have had this area for me oh my days this is so cute there's another area too oh my god you could plant like it's so tiny i wonder like gameplay how it work for it to live like underground like this but yeah i like this area a lot oh my god and i like that it has like an area for like you know for the sun to be there for them even though they live underground it's like so considerate and nice so i like that yeah this is really cool and oh i could and hide this unit too okay can i do that it's currently occupied oh is that why they don't want to show me oh well but yeah y'all that's pretty much it that was a really fascinating build like yeah this is a, this is really cute i would actually recommend you to download it like uh uh, like if you ever have a saving you're just like you want something for brightchester i don't know but this one's really good in my personal opinion so yeah let's go ahead and check the next location in brightchester before we leave and go to the next world all right y'all this is what i find very interesting about brightchester i wanted to check one more location out but i don't think i will i'm gonna let y'all do that but i do want to tell y'all something that i found 
there is a science and tech building that's a makerspace location which i find that to be like how does that work like that sounds so cool and then there's another one an arts building and that's really nice it really shows what the schools have and what they value like there's an art society club an organization in brightchester and then there is like a science tech type of like you know uh organization in foxberries all right so i'm looking at tartosa and if you don't know tartosa is like one of my top favorite worlds not top five but one of my favorite worlds and oh my god so i'm assuming it's like a beach wedding oh this is different i like it oh the gifts area this is very like you know destination wedding but also like very casual like these sims they don't have the most craziest of demands they just want to get married because they love each other like that's kind of the vibe i get and yeah it's very simple like i really like i'm not like so like oh like this is crazy but at the same time i just it's i'm appreciating it you know all right so this is the next location it's called piazza de amor and i'm just wondering what like it's retail i know but like what is it so let's figure it out together y'all all right so i'm assuming it's like a business like a lived-in business type of location and then oh this is a wedding oh and you could buy wedding oh my god this is so cute uh, and the baker <laughs> this is so cute oh my god this is so cute I like this. It's like kind of like think of it like maybe the menu or like whatever cakes. Oh my god. And the toppers are here. Quote unquote for you to buy. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh my god. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm melting. And you could buy other kind of cakes here. Oh my god. I'm sorry. My jaw is on the floor. Oh my god. A galaxy cake? How do I not know this exists? Do y'all know this exists? Please, someone tell me. Oh my god. I love the desserts and stuff, but yeah, that, I'm sorry, that, it's so flowery, it feels so realistic. I even like the way the builder made the tiles, like, some of them are just, like, that marble, and then this, oh my god, it's really creative. I'm not into checkered floors, but you know what, it's really cool. And let's see this next one. Oh yeah, they're supposed to be upstairs, right? Like a, a wedding shop, like a dress wedding shop. Oh my god. Oh, the hijab. It looks so pretty. And then, oh my god, the wedding dresses. Oh, this is so adorable. And then here. Oh, so cute. Oh my god, it's so realistic too. Very pretty. Oh, masculine sims. This is cute. Oh, and you could have like the thrifty like type of like this is this is smart. Uh, I mean, if you were wondering, this is like the th if you have a thrift store, like they add this thing here. That's what I meant. Oh, and then, OK, is there like a changing room area? Oh, there is. Oh, this is cute. I like the like uh, curtains like it's very pretty. Yeah, like if you go over here, I feel like you're probably thinking, oh, my God, I'm like super cute and then here is like where i guess the stylist can like help you with like what are you looking for and stuff this is very pretty is there a third floor um or oh there is a place for the wedding photo shoot creative creative oh this is so cute uh, yeah let me go ahead and make sure i think i checked this area out but like i didn't really know oh this is cute wait Oh, this is adorable. Oh, this is adorable. And what's back here? Oh, more sweets. An ice cream shop. Oh, this is cool. This is creative. I like this. And ooh, more flowers, like a flower shop location. Oh, this is pretty. So beautiful to the eyes, right? And then let's go. Oops, sorry. Um, and then I wanted to see, ooh, there's like an, a place where you could purchase art. Like, you know, I feel like it's something, you know, you look back at. You're like, you know, I went here in my, you know, 20s or I went here to celebrate my my retirement and I just got something back home. I don't know, whatever your sim celebrates and they just get something. I mean, I'm hoping that you can buy them. But yeah, this is really cute. Um, and then, you know, nice. And then I think that's pretty much it with this lot y'all like um i'm mind blown i like that there's an area sims probably could sit down and play with the fountain and there's an area they could sit out here paint play like 
it's not only a retail law like you can eat you can have fun and you could you know do stuff for your wedding and you know create memories have a photo shoot here like hello this law is stacked okay okay let's go ahead let's go check the next venue out so we are at the cathedral romanza in uh, tartosa and this is interesting i want to see how this looks like on the inside so ooh, and then yeah so let's go here Ooh, okay so this is when you enter and where your sims can get married let's go and look into tab mode oh wow yes okay oh here's where sims can get ready you know the bridesmaid and the bride groomsmen you know the sims that are supposed to be part of the group oh this is so cute and fun oh and the you know the guest book to sign in oh that's so cute that's cute i love that personal touch and ooh, the chef can work here to make the food for the families and stuff oh that's beautiful and then ooh, this is where the groomsmen can hang out why does this remind me of like love is blind when like the dudes be hanging out in a room like before they get married and like some mess may be going down because like the guys are talking crap or like hey you how you feeling about today you know <laughs> if you ever watch love is blind you know what i'm talking about it's that room <laughs> And is there anything else to sneak upstairs? No, there isn't. Okay. So, yeah, there's a glass roof, just as I assumed. Beautiful. Oh, is there any? Let's check outside. Ooh, there's an area for your sins to hang out here, to dance. Let's go check at nighttime how it would look. Oh, that's so cute. I love how they, it looks like there's a photographer that could film the occasion for your sims. Oh, that's really cute. And then, oh, this is where you can go to the bar. You can make your toast. Oh, that's so cute. And I'm assuming here is where you're supposed to put your wedding cake. Cute. Very well thought out. Very beautiful. It gives you like the indoor, outdoor wedding. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe, you know, your, your sim couple wanted to indoor and then one wants outdoor and they have the best of both worlds thanks to this location. All right, let's go ahead and check the next world right now. So now we're in the world that I was kind of curious about, Copperdale. And here's the high school and the auditorium. So we're going to check either or and then check somewhere around here. Here's a bunch of lots though. So it's like a community of Sims that live here. I like that. That's smart. And then here it's like a vacation rental, a cafe. Oh, which is a movie theater lot. And then there is... um somewhere your sims can move in and then here is a karaoke bar and a thrifty location so i think for this world i am curious about the thrifty i believe i've actually seen this thrifty location before i don't know why or how i know this location so we are at the thrifty location and it's also like an ice cream shop um so let's go ahead and look so you could walk in and then your sims have the boba area and here where they could chill out and sit together and then they could shop up here and then there's a changing room area another changing room area and yeah that's pretty much it it's very cool looking location very art deco i would say and i'm not gonna lie like if i got to remix i might have like made my own like picnic location or something like around here where like you know the teens could hang out you know sit together or something something chill out here because there's a lot of space but yeah it's a really cute little spot here and i do like that it has like these like little stuff because it really does match with the area like a quote-unquote bunch of businesses they're just deco by the way if you're wondering why you know they're just all deco but yeah let's go ahead and check the high school out next Hold up, I know this location. This is where my Sims went to high school, Zaven and Mello. Copperdale Academy by Simlissi, I believe. I believe, or I'm just having flashbacks and I'm just confusing lots at this point, which would be, yeah, but it really reminds me of it. So let's go ahead and check. If y'all have never watched my high school years, LP, I totally recommend it. It was just so fun. <laughs> but yeah, I remember hallway and then the class is here. Yeah, and then hallway and then the other class is here. And then what's this room? Ooh, like the computer room? Okay. This is where the gym area is. I remember, I believe the downstairs was like, um, like, yeah, the washroom and stuff. I remember that. And then I'm so sorry if I'm doing it like so crazy that it's showing me all, all the stuff. Um, and then, oh yes, I remember this area. And then let's see, this is the bathrooms again. Then here is, I don't know, what is this? Like the teachers, oh the teachers, okay, oh, the teachers hang here, okay, okay, okay. And then here is um, another classroom actually, and this is where like I guess 
Oh, okay. It kind of... Okay. It's another classroom. Maybe it's like a remixed version of Simlissi's Law, I believe, actually. I don't remember Simlissi's Law actually having a pool. I don't remember. But yeah. This is cool. So there's like a pool area. But then again, I don't know. My Sims weren't in like swimming. So yeah, that's pretty much the high school, y'all. Um, this is a very fast tour. So I guess you know what I'm going to do instead. Because I already know this location. But yeah. I'm gonna go here next with y'all so let's go there right now welcome to the auditorium <laughs> all right now this is cute i like the colors it's very fun in my opinion it's really cute yeah very simple but like also complex like it feels like oh like i you know you grew up here like that's what vibes that i'm getting from this auditorium you know and so it really does have similar layout for the school so it really feels like it's like the same location like i'm getting flashbacks because again like i said i played with a similar looking lot like the simplicity one so yeah so here's what happens you enter and then here what's this event this is just the auditorium so i guess teachers can make speech and stuff like that for like events or whatever to expect you know yeah and then let's go up here and yeah so you could sit up here maybe teachers are sitting up here or something don't know and then yeah stuff is going down back here though so like music hmm nice and this is an area, like, I guess to change your clothes or no, cook. Oh, okay, cook. Hmm. I guess for the events and stuff. Let's go ahead and change a lot to the. F I think I pressed the prom one. I can't see the words, but I'm going to assume I pressed the prom one. Oh, my days. Is this the prom location? Where is the prom? Maybe my. Okay, this is different. So you're going upstairs for prom. And then here it's different. Oh, okay. And it really feels like a private, like, location. I like that this is kind of, like, turned. I don't know why. I just like that. And then, like, the teacher's background is, like, really cute. Mmm, cute. And okay, okay. What is this? Speakers. Okay. All right, I'm going to make it nighttime just because I want to see... Ooh, okay. It's very colorful. Like, I didn't expect that at all. But, like, the lot is, like, colorful itself, you know? But, yeah, this is different. This is different. This is not what I expected. And then here, what is this? Is this, like, on their way upstairs? Oh, this is cute for them. Like, imagine. And, you know, it kind of gives me that spring vibe, like a spring prom for real, which is when prom is for, you know, some people <laughs> but yeah this is nice this is different and ooh, this is where you get to cast your oh my god this is so cute like i feel like they're like teachers put so much effort in my mind and like even though like if they kind of look out they just see it's like their you know usual auditorium like this is what they would see if like they moved their curtains but like you know it's like all this little cute effort and like they just get their like oh my god they can have mimosas in the school oh my days <laughs> i have mods so like it could just be different drinks but like you know for a base game i mean a base game but you know spa day it's just mimosas like oh the kids are drinking something <laughs> but yeah this is cute this is cute and i like that it's different and it's you know oh my god wait y'all wait wait does the career world save file use tool mod hold up can you can you can you comment do you use tool mod because i don't remember seeing this stuff because you know like my sims went to high school i remember this was like i don't want to say i like this but like a barren land you know i only remember maybe the chairs i think that's about it nothing no x markers like what's going on here i actually don't know oh my god hello period this is the auditorium and we just checked out the school and we checked out the thrifty location yeehaw welcome to chestnut ridge i don't know why i did that <laughs> welcome to chestnut ridge so i'm looking at here and oh my god you know you know me i haven't really played with chestnut ridge yet but there is a wedding venue and there is a local nectar shop Ooh, owned by the two sims all right so the nectar making duo own a nectar shop together there's a park that hey now festival grounds and then there's an abandoned farmhouse that's on a 64 by 64 lot Ooh, and it seems like it has quite a bit of lot challenges let's go check out the abandoned farmhouse <laughs> 
if you remember part one of the save file like the intro clip was using this a lot because i was so fascinated by it i don't know i just love how green it is i don't know it just it made me feel like something i'll be completely honest i love i love the greenery it's beautiful and it's abandoned but it's still beautiful to me anyway let's go ahead and check inside so oh oh wow this is completely abandoned wow there's a lot of work to do here okay so there's nothing up here so it's just a one floor okay it kind of reminds me of like courage the cowardly dog but like not as creepy <laughs> so like you could tell there's a story there, there's maybe animals that lived here someone probably was trying to live out here on their own before it got too like not habitable i would say and yeah i like how they like took advantage of just it feels like there's a story here you know and it kind of even like oh oh Look at this oh wow okay seems like though maybe someone still comes by because why is it not torn apart and why is the water look clean hmm something going down here yeah something is but it's really pretty i love i love that i love this area i'm definitely having my sim have a photo shoot here <laughs> Let me save this lot <laughs> to my gallery. Anyway, but yeah, y'all, this is the simple lot. It's an abandoned property, but again, I think it's pretty. I think it is. I think it's pretty. I don't know. But then again, it's probably because of this area. Like, I think it's pretty because of here. Now, what's going on here? Mm. <laughs> All right, let's go to the wedding venue because I'm really curious. Like, what's going down? You know, like, I know they're doing the cowpoke dance, but like, let's go. Well, y'all, we are at the wedding venue location in Chestnut Ridge. I wonder if there's any other worlds that have like a wedding venue other than these two worlds. But y'all, look at this area. It is very like we in the like, you know, we in the country. I feel like that. I feel that way. Let's go ahead. Oops, sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, And then you go inside. Mm, and then you could take photos for memories. This is really pretty. It's so simple, but like classic, I feel like. I love this so much, so pretty. You could have Sims part of your wedding stand here. I think that's so creative as they're watching the Sims get married. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, and then there's an outdoor location here. And oh, okay, the drinks are here. Maybe, you know, the Sims who have the nectar shop can like sponsor the event for you. I don't know. Like you could come up with your own little stories like that again. Oh my god and then you can have like your drinks and your food out all here and oh my god of course has <laughs> maybe your horse is at the party at this point <laughs> that's so cute i like it i really like the simplicity it's not doing too much and you know beautiful photos are going to be taken here oh i know that i know that like i said once i get into the gameplay i definitely would probably want to love to have a horse ranch wedding lot like this in my save so yeah let's go ahead and go to the next location in chestnut ridge we are at a residential location here in chestnut ridge and i just kind of want to see how the homes look what kind of like you know vibes these sims have and i do believe they have two horses with them so i wonder if all of that is like accommodated for them so let's find out together okay so this is very interesting to me already so this is all attached to the house where the horses are i feel like i've seen them like you know what i'm saying like where the plants are like their own little cute like you know area that they live in and i like that it's attached to the house it's different from what i'm used to seeing and yeah two horse beds and it's already luna and star bright okay i like the wooded like feel and the stones and yes yes and then ooh, there's a children's room okay so there, these these sims are parents okay and oh there's a little horsey boat out here oh this is so cute this is like the three animals from this pack the little i believe goat and like sheep or you know the miniature ones oh so cute and then here oh this is so adorable y'all this is a beautiful room so here is where i guess they could work the sims who are like the parents 
or that live here nice now let's see back here Ooh, and this is another room maybe this is for like an, a visitor or an older sim that lives with them and then they have here the laundry and then ooh, this is where they can fry up some food and just like maybe quote-unquote nectars and stuff to be made oh and this is where they would sit out here nice oh and then they could sit here together as a family make memories oh my god that's really beautiful i'm curious to see how the lighting looks at night for this area oh it's pretty very simple and i like that this sim could sit out here oh it's so realistic i love that so much Ooh. oh oh, oh i'm sorry y'all i'm so sorry if i got excited but like oh, i'm so sorry for bothering you you're so cute next to the plants uh, Ooh, and this is like what nectar type of like i'm assuming i don't think it is but you know what i'm saying they probably like have it in here but like for storytelling purposes this debug object you know what i'm saying so what is it here green bean blueberry and maybe these are like flavors you can make with nectar i'm not entirely sure the fully the nectar making system i actually just have a sim in my cottage world who makes nectar but i'm gonna get back to y'all on that very soon once i start playing with my cottage living save again but oh and it's an area where they can go the horses oh that's so cute uh, oh and there's another area they could practice out here and then there's like different locations here oh my god oh and it's so beautiful here I need to have a sim live in Chestnut Ridge at this point. Like, I'm going to make an excuse for someone to live here so that I can experience the gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this is the location. Let's go ahead and check out Tomarang, which is probably going to be the last place for this video. We are in Tomarang, and I just see a couple of stuff already. So here is a residential rental, residential rental, residential rental. And then there is a place that your sims can go for vacation though. And then there is another residential rental and another residential rental. Oh, wow. So it's all residential rentals in this world. And there is a community garden, the Zosul Taman, which is originally the name for this location. And there is an entertainment district, which is a thrifty location. And I believe there's a spa. Okay, um, y'all know me. I love a spa, so let's go ahead and check how the spa looks like. We are at the spa location, and oh my god, just the vibes here are absolutely beautiful. Like I already want to zen and just relax. Oh my god. Y'all might- it's late for me. I don't want to fall asleep. That's how relaxed I am. Just seeing all this beautiful green. Y'all already know your girl. I said I love the greens, okay? <laughs> okay, but let me go ahead and check inside. <laughs> let me check inside with y'all. So let's go ahead. Oh wait, first let's look outside. Ooh, wait a minute. I love this already. They're, they're utilizing the thing from uh, Snowy Escape, like out here. Very beautiful. And then here you can make it like so a fire at night. Let's go actually check out looks at night. Oh, beautiful. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go inside. And then, oh, okay, okay. So there is an area to have your massages. And then here there is an area where you can get your hand massages and stuff like that. And probably you get the, you know, the pedicure, the warm water for your feet. So like just, you know, it's very nice. And then, you know, where the sim would sit, you know, while they're doing all that. That's really realistic and smart. Yes. And then, ooh, a yoga room. And then this is where the instructor will be. And then the other sims who follow are all going to be here. And then, nice, nice. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and check this area. Is this where sims change? Okay, I think this is where the sims will change their clothes. And then, ooh, where you can have a mud bath or, you know, those like clay masks and stuff like that. Here is the perfect place for your sim. And then, ooh, where they could take a shower. And not only that, but when you're going to go to the onsen area out here, you know, you take a shower, obviously. This is perfect for that. Ooh, and there is the sit, what is it called again? Squat toilet. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's a very small lot, but again, you get the business done. Ooh, there's a steam area and ooh, the meditation room. Oh, I need to meditate after this video. <laughs> and then, oh my god, there's like the mortal and pestle. Oh my god, y'all, I be cooking with this, but not really anymore. But let me start using it again. <laughs> let me not talk about cooking. <laughs> 
but yeah i like this i like this a lot it's like it's meant you know what you're supposed to go for and i feel like you don't have to do all those stuff at once like just do bit by bit you know and there's so many sims living in tomerang and the save you could place a lot of sims like there are so many residential rentals we're gonna check one of them out of course together but yeah like you don't have to spend all day here you could just do what you want and come back do another thing come back do it like i like that and maybe i need to start implementing that for my other saves but this lot inspired me to think like that let's go to the next location all right we are at the rokaya rock side and it feels like there's just a lot going on here so i'm assuming there's just like businesses like your sims could like you know have and do stuff and sell and maybe you could have vendors around which is really cool Ooh, what's this the nails here maybe like a business or something like i do remember there was like some areas that do stuff like that oh yeah there's a business here wait that's so cool oh my god okay so you're there's like a nail shop nail salon area and then there's an area back here where they make some you know sims have a massage and oh so there's like businesses like sims live here and wow okay and then there's an area for the laundry and then of course the area for the mail oh i wonder is there no kitchens in some of the homes or is this like a restaurant is there an area out here to sit down okay no huh let's go ahead and check what's the tea so um i'm gonna turn on the o just so i know which ones are the home aka you know when you press o this is like called the unit outline so yeah and okay so there's an area here you could create your own storylines like a sim could be a chef here one of the sims could you know have their you know nail salon down there yeah and like maybe they probably are competing with the other location or maybe they want to have something like that one day the other location that we just visited so yeah and then there's up here so wait let me just confirm i think this is two different also and then is there another one two different okay, okay and then that's it so all right all right i'm gonna turn it off so that we can look at it together properly oh wow this one is like maybe a bunch of roommates that live here together or maybe like a hundred baby challenge type of thing i don't know is interesting and then there's here another maybe almost family or relatives all living here together and there is like a newspaper maybe they're cooking some stuff that just they need a newspaper on the floor you know splatter i don't know and then here you could see this floor there is like you know some sims here they have a child so you know it's like you know it's kind of like where some sims are starting out like their first place that they live in and what kind of stories you're gonna have in your game with them I really like that and this one is it looks like it's almost like a it's like almost like a bachelor like a like one studio bedroom whatever you call it like okay and then what about this home does that have the same toilet or do some of the homes have different toilets no all the same toilets okay and then the first floor i'm so sorry if it's like confusing you how i, ch I was checking the apartment but I was interested by the layout like what was going on there was just felt like there was something i wanted to know maybe this area there's like a teen that lives here or like a young adult sim it's just again it's like some sims are starting out and what a beautiful oh wait there is this is where you can eat from the quote-unquote restaurant downstairs okay i'm curious this one is oh there's a downstairs let's find out what it is oh <gasps> a secret club an area where your sims could play oh my god it's is it sounds like it's like is it legal for the sims to play here i don't know it sounds like it is though but then why was there a cross hmm i don't know there's a little nightclub your sims can have and then you know okay oh there's a money vault area oh there's a secret area let me end in my video two times with a secret area again. Help. <gasps> Wait a minute. <gasps> what are y'all doing down here? What's tea? Y'all, what's the tea? They got some money in here. Zero simoleons in the vault, but they got some simoleons sitting out the vault and some like stones. Maybe some of the sim one of the sims here are into gemology. I don't know. There's a. <laughs> The bullions, the gold, oh my god. But y'all, the fact that I found that out with y'all, that is so cool. Can I make it nighttime so that I could just see how it looks, this area? Oh, it's so lively. Oh, wow. And there's balconies too. And then there's an area, some, you know, what's it called? Keg stands. And then, oh my god, an area here where the Sims could cook and like barbecue. Oh, wow. 
and then here sims could chill here and then oh my god again like somebody could make some food again selling some food here and then i'm thinking like maybe i don't know it's all food i don't know sorry my jaw's on the floor that is quite the build wow i don't know but i personally feel like i went on a journey oh my god that's so cute what okay Touring the Career World save file has been so fun. I can't, I can't wait for this new world now because I'm like, what is this creator going to add to it? Because I'm like that excited. And I guess in the future, there might be that with some of the vacation worlds to explore. I don't know if I explored Granite Falls and Selva Dorado, to be honest. But like I said, the new world, maybe future updates on the save file. And not only that, but I do want to explore the Sims. So in the future, maybe around autumn, I'll see you guys again for another part of exploring the Career World save file. Thank you so much for watching this. I'm Sasha. Let's talk in the comments. And I do want to apologize. I know I have not uploaded much to Let's Plays this month, but again, my game has been going through a lot of weird stuff and I'm also working on creating a mod and it's just been very overwhelming. Please be patient with me. Thank you so much for watching in general. I really adore you. Let's meet again for the next video, which I believe is going to be a mods video. So yeah, see you then. Take care. Thank you.